a story or two in the red chair. So who's up first? Who's up first? Hello, nice lady. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Lisa. Where are you from, Lisa? Minnesota. You're from, she's from Minnesota. She's traveled all this way to tell us the following story. Don't hold it against her. You're right down the end, though. You're going to fall off. <laughs> no, no, honestly, really did. This, this is not connected, this bit. Oh, is it? no. <laughs> we booby trapped you. <laughs> Normally, it's just scenic, but you're actually, it's practical tonight. Oh, right. Sorry, Lisa, I've left you alone. <laughs> uh, okay, Lisa, she's traveled from Minnesota to delight us with the following story. Off you go. Uh, my parents have a cabin on a lake, and uh, my nephew, who was three years old at the time, loved giving people tours around the, uh, around the cabin, uh, particularly showing people the, um, the dead animals that my dad buys on eBay. <laughs> so, Mr. Bear, Excuse hello, me. Mr. Coyote, <clears throat> hello, Mr. Deer. Um, and then we get to um, an animal that my sister-in-law got given as a gift um, it was her mascot for her volleyball team, and he says to me, "Would you like to stroke my mom's beaver?" I do it all the time. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, oh, oh. I can only apologize. You should have seen that one coming. It really out, should have yeah. And I'm just like, I'm just yeah, yeah. There were American animals. Well, there was bound to be a beaver. It was a lake. It was a water-based thing. It was all things pointing toward beaver. Yes, yeah. really. <laughs> or pineapple, as we know. Or <laughs> Pineapple. Would you like to taste my pineapple? <laughs> <laughs>